Okay, so let's do table 19, um, which is one of those... You obviously uh, don't like it, so why do we bother? Because I saw it, so you oh, okay. deserve oh, enough, a few minutes of my time. So basically, it's one of those unfuddy, unfunny, unfuddy wedding comedies that remind you just how funny Four Weddings and a Funeral is and how unfunny most comedies about weddings are. Uh, Anna Kendrick is the former best friend of the bride uh, who winds up being dumped on table 19 oh. after being dumped by the bride's brother. Get oh. it? You see? So she was maid of honour. Now she's on table 19. Here's a clip when she meets her ex. Hey. Hey. Okay, what's going on, man? What? Come on, what, is that, what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. It means you leave me a voicemail telling me to tell Francie not to open your RSVP card. Then you leave me a voicemail telling me that you're coming. And then another one saying, disregard the last one. So that's what I mean. What are you doing here? You listen to all those voicemails? Hey, guys, right here. What? Come on, L. please don't go all crazy. All crazy? What does that mean? It means you get mad. You do something big and then you can't take it back and it's too late and then boom, crazy. I do that. I do that. I'm not your mom, so I don't do that. I think it's funny. Mostly, but not today. Nikki will murder me. All right, me. all right. Nikki can calm down. What is, the, what is the deal with Nikki? Really? Wow, what's the deal with Nikki? That's funny. Why would you care about Nikki if you're just here for my sister? You're right. Yeah. You're right. It's none of my business if you cheated on me with her. What? Why should it even bother me? Come on. I didn't cheat on you with her. It started after we broke up and you dropped out as maid of honor. How does a guy who, after two years, you break up with me over text? Good luck with your future endeavors. So, um, uh, with her on table 19 are um, former nanny, uh, June Squibb's brilliant, bickering couple, Lisa Kudrow, uh, Craig Robinson, a young man, desperate to meet girls, Tony Revolori, who, of course, is so great in the Grand Budapest Hotel. So you're watching this and you're thinking, well, actually, that's a pretty decent cast. And uh, why is it they're almost entirely wasted? I just spent the whole film feeling like I was sitting on table 19 in a wedding, wondering how long it was going to go on for. And, you know, expecting people to fall asleep. So, I mean, none of the characters ring true. None of the situations seem plausible. None of the life lessons are interesting. None of the uh, comic antics are comic. And in the end, it ties itself up in a bow. There's a bit, there's a, there's a bit early on when our heroine nearly walks into a cake and you go, okay, how long, how long before the cake Mageddon? And how long was it? It's about 40 minutes. Oh, okay, all right. And then cake. Yeah, it was, it's just, it, I, I, I sat there all the way through thinking, I wish I had Richard Curtis. If Richard Curtis was sitting in the cinema next to me, you know what I'd do? I'd reach over and grab his arm and go, I love, I love you. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, very good. <laughs>